What's up, you guys? How you doing? <laughs> um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are having a blessed week, um, a blessed month, okay? Um, if you haven't been, if it seems like you haven't been, you're about to, okay? All right? Got a quick word, all right? So listen up. I'm in Judges, okay? The book of Judges. One. I'm about to read one through six, right? Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first to fight against them? And the Lord said, uh, and the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Judah said unto Simeon, his brother, come up with me into the into my lot, excuse me, that we may fight against the Canaanites and likewise will go up with thee into thy lot. So Simeon went with him and Judah went up and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand. And they slew of them in Bezek 10,000 men. And they found Adonai Bezek and Bezek and they fought against him. And they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. But Adonai Bezek fled and they pursued after him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. Okay. So some of you have been walking, so to speak, quote unquote, walking alone, right? Or so you think, right? So the Lord is going to bring someone if that person is not already there. A brother or sister in Christ is going to bring someone to help you, right? And you're going to help each other in the process, right? You're going to help each other subdue each other's land, right? So it's a partnership, okay? A covenant. You're going to have a partner, right? Now, I was going to say Batman to your Robin, but not so much, okay? But you're going to have a partner, right? So, judges, we're still in one, okay? And 32. But the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath. But he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and the Beth Anath became tributaries unto them. Tributaries unto them. And the Amorites forced the children of Dan into the mountain. For they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. But the Amorites would dwell in the Mount Harris and Ajalon. Sorry if I butchered that. And in Shalabim. Yet the hand of the house of Joseph prevailed so that they became tributaries. Okay? So check this out. I looked up a uh, uh, tributary, right? Well, this... I'm, okay, just listen. So I looked up contributary, right? It's derivative of the word tributum, right? Latin, meaning a thing contributed or paid, right? Long ago, a tributary was someone who was forced to pay a person or group in return for protection, right? The Wikipedia definition, a tributary or affluent is a stream or a river that flows into a larger stream or main stem. In quotations, I mean in parentheses, or parent, river, or a lake. Right? The Lord is saying you will conquer and subdue Everything you put your hands to, says the Lord. You will conquer and subdue everything you put your hands to, says the Lord. Okay? Now look at the, the tributary uh, Wikipedia definition, right? It says a tributary or affluent is a stream, right? A stream or a river that flows into a larger stream or main stem. Right? So this is like this is like a twofold this is a twofold message, right? 
An affluent is a stream or a river, right? That would be me and you. That flows into a larger stream or main stem. That would be Father God. Okay? Rivers of living water, right? Flowing out of our bellies. Amen. Hallelujah. Li rivers of living water flowing out of our bellies. Why? Because we are connected to the one. The one and only. The most high God, right? So it's going to be a nonstop uh, 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 feeding of God's wisdom, his power, his spirit, his, his everything that God is. The connection will be strong, okay? It will be strong. And you will be fed. We will be fed by, the, by those rivers of living water. Right? Even now. Right? And the lands and the people that you subdue and conquer, right? They're going to become tributaries unto you. Right? Unto us. Your enemies are going to become tributaries unto you. They're not, they're not going to... Get this straight. You don't pay for the gospel, right? But we are. I'm saying that they are going to come and seek... The protection of the Lord through you, okay? Through you, from you to the Lord, because you are that, that, um, you are that middle piece, that connecting piece, right? They don't have a relationship with the Lord, so they have to come and ask you to speak to the Lord for them. That's what I mean, okay? Okay? So, you guys get, be expectant, you know, look for things, miracles, especially, okay? Because a lot of you have been going through such hard times. I mean, such hard times. Like, I can't even go into depth on how hard it's been, okay? It's been a nonstop emotional roller coaster, right? And you're just like, what's going on, Lord? I've been going through the same thing, okay? Don't, don't, do not get it twisted thinking I got it all together because I absolutely most, most like, most definitely do not, okay? But I know who my God is, okay? And I know from whence my help comes, right? Just like you do. So, I'm going to end this with Romans 8, 28. For we all know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and those who are called according to his purpose, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm sorry I'm coming to you from my bathroom, but this is where I study, okay? Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Have a good week, weekend. For some of you who are off this weekend, like me, um, and I will see you guys soon, all right? I love you guys with the love of, with the love of God, and stay safe, keep your eyes on God, and stay prayed up. All right, talk to you later. Bye.